In August last year, a favorite for the largest Age of Empires 4 tournament was banned. He was banned for a violation of the rules. What haunted this decision the most was the fact that there was a lack of transparency around it. We knew that there was a violation of the rules. We didn't know what rule. We didn't know what happened. Now, subsequent statements were made by Krasini, the head admin of the Road to Red Bull Wallalol. Uh, and he said that with the chatter happening, he wants to clarify that there's been an ongoing investigation for a good while with Relic Microsoft Red Bull, as well as other talents being part of the investigation. Now, the reason why I'm making this video is because I'm in a different position today where we don't have to beat around the bush. We can just come out and tell you exactly what is happening. So let's get into it. In this game right here, we unfortunately miss it. There was a couple things that I missed in this game. All right, this is game number eight, Donati versus one transport ship. And what we're going to be talking about, once again, it's 3DB. Let's take a look and see what happens. See if you can spot it. All right. Here we go. We're looking, who are we looking at right now? We're looking at Puppy Paw. We're looking at Puppy Paw Kill Kill Jardy. And all of a sudden, wham, bam, thank you, man. Blade has assassinated 3DB. Now, you might be wondering what the heck just happened there. What possible, what possible rule could have been broken? Well, my friends, let me introduce you to the handbook for Outback Octagon 2. Specifically, we're taking a look at the rules page where there is a rule about king donation. Intentionally moving your king to a location where a known enemy threat or presence is, especially when under attack by a different player, is banned. The admin reserves the right to issue a penalty to a player deemed in breach of this rule. So, let's get a second view from what happened in that game. This right here is the perspective of Blade 55555, just seconds before that king goes down. Let's take a look and see exactly what happens. I'll get you to keep an eye out on the in-game chat. So we can see Urk backs away. Blade comes in. And when Blade comes back, the king pops out of the town center and he's making a run for it. You can see he's heading down to the shoreline and Blade picks that up. Now, did you catch what was said in the chat right there? He manages to almost get down to the shoreline. 3DB, as he pops the, the king out of the town center... What does he say? Have a look at this. Here it comes. Take me. Take me. Take me. Now, it's up to you how what you can infer from that or what you can imply from that. And immediately, Urk responds back with a question mark. Uh, now, Urk's actually responding to B, what B set up here. So B said, Urk, teaming banned. Uh, and that's Urk backing away and, and saying question mark. Um, and th this is a great use of, of B to social engineer a uh, response uh, from his enemy to, to force them to respond. But then B says, take me. And this is the part that we're having a bit of a problem with. So let's talk a little bit about this because we've actually gone through this. And th this is th there was a, a complaint made uh, about this. And that that's part of the reason why I'm, I'm here talking to you today about it and being transparent. Uh, so we'll close down this. This is the actual game uh, as it happened. And we're going to dive through it and, and break it down. But th we did receive complaints uh, that there was a, a king donation. So we got the, the, the head admin, Lord Petito, and he reached out to B and he said, B, we need to talk to you about this. There's been an issue. And B explained that uh, all he was attempting to do was, was to go to the water. Now, I can show you the logs. Uh, I, I can reveal the logs. In fact, I could probably, you know, I could probably just pull up the logs right now. Let, let's let's do it. Let's let's pull up the logs. Give me a second right here. Uh, we'll pull up the relevant um, the relevant logs. Actually, you know what? We're not going to pull up the logs. I'll, I'll tell you what he said though. Okay, so B said uh, that he wanted to go to his transport ship at the water. So what I did, I, I jumped in. I said, you know what? We're, we're gonna we're gonna check. We're gonna double check everything. See what he says. Uh, so we can see that right now we're at 16 minutes 56. Okay, and you can see the B. He's under attack. Urk has come through. And it, it seems very clear that, that B is in trouble. So what's B going to do? He's going to start making a transport ship from this dock over here on the west side. So his second dock. I think he's just a little bit fearful about making it from the, the first dock, the primary dock. He's going to lose absolutely everything here. Uh, and, and that's going to be his, his you know, get out of jail card, essentially. So he gets completely cleaned up. And it's, it's around this time that B is going to start typing in the chat. Because... What he's doing is he's basically saying, hey, you're, you're teaming up. You and Matiz are teaming up. Uh, but it, it, I mean, if, if you take a look here, Matiz has got a Barbican in his base. He's not really getting teamed up on, but it, it, it's a really good use by uh, B 
of of almost manipulation to say, hey, you don't attack me. Uh, you, you're going to get banned for teaming if you attack me. In reality, is not. That, that, that's just a lie. So now we can see that transport ship has come out. Uh, B has built the transport ship, and this now sits out here. And this is pivotal to B's defense in this accusation because B has said, well, actually, uh, you know, I wanted to go to my transport ship at the water. Let's, let's take a look at that. So the, the transport ship is rallied out to the fish, and it just sits there, okay? And that's really important. We, we'll come back to that, all right? So B still under attack here from Urk. And it's at, at this point that he, that he said, hey, you know, uh, teaming and whatnot. And B probably realizes at this point, you know, he's pretty much done. Uh, blades here. So he pops the pops the king out of the town center. It's at this point right now. So 1751, uh, about three seconds just prior to this, uh, B has typed in the chat, take me. Uh, which uh, I believe infers that he, he's saying, here, kill my king in, in that way. And now B has also said to the admins after the game, he wanted to go his, to his transport ship. But if we take a look at the transport ship, it never moves. He did build a transport ship. But he never moved the transport ship. He never made an effort to actually move the transport ship, which is where it leads me to believe that what has happened here is actually a king donation, or at least an attempt at donating the king. I'm not sure what the plan was, whether he, he wanted to just give it over to Urk, maybe wanted to deny it from Blade, something like that. But you, you can see that he, he's clearly trying to get his, get over towards these units of Urk for whatever reason. I, I, I don't know what the history is. I don't know between these two guys. Maybe maybe B doesn't like Blade, or maybe B just prefers Urk or something like that. Or maybe uh, maybe he, think, he thinks uh, Blade is a lot more of a competition throughout the, the, the length of the tournament. Something like that. He's tried to get the king over towards Urk because, as you can see, the transport ship never made a move at any point in time and at, at, at this point you know the the water is still quite open he, he's not under attack from anywhere at all obviously there, there is a presence up towards the north side uh where matthews has got units but he's not under attack or anything like that so th there's there's no threat of um of aggression on that water so i don't think that you, you could say uh that the, that the transport ship was being boxed out or anything like that now this is where it gets a bit awkward, okay? And, and, and if anything, it gets complex because I, I would say that initially when it came in, the rule to donate, or the, the king donation rule was all about stopping people from just walking a king into somebody else's base and just giving them the points when you're under attack. So I'll give you an example, right? So here we can see that uh, Kiljardi, he's having a bit of a tough time. Um, so if he was to just take this king right now and then just march it directly over to the base of Urk, uh, getting chased by all of these units. And, and you know, let, let's say he knows about this Kremlin and he just walks it straight to the Kremlin, underneath the Kremlin, that would be a king donation. Okay, that would be an egregious uh, form of, of king donation. And that's what we wanted to avoid happening. So I think this is very much an edge case. Um, I, had B actually moved the transport ship, I don't think that we'd be having this discussion right now and I'd be very satisfied that it was just B failing to get to the water and, and that would have definitely sold it to me. Uh, the problem is that didn't happen. In fact, there was no attempt to move uh, the king at all. Uh, now, fortunately for him, in, in this situation, obviously he's failed to protect the king. Um, and when we go back to that rule book, okay, it's intentionally moving your king to a location where a known enemy threat or presence is, especially when under attack by a different player. Uh, and so I'm satisfied that that is quite obviously met and the admin does reserve the right to issue a penalty so i'm, I'm satisfied that it the, the transport ship remained idle for 27 seconds prior to the death of the king um and so th this directly contradicts b's statement uh that he made to lord potato um but obviously this case is, is complex because blade did actually get the kill it looked like he was trying to donate it to urk but blade still got the kill so i'm, I'm satisfied that that in, in this situation that the outcome of the game wouldn't w wasn't changed based on what B has done here, but that doesn't necessarily mean that what B did was was right, and it doesn't mean that it wasn't a breach of the rules. I'm satisfied that, that what happened was a breach of the rules, but just in, in noting that, I think that it is. What's the best way to say it? it it's not a serious case, so. In, because very much so, the, the the admin, you know, Lord Petito reserves the right to, to do uh, anything and everything that he wishes. He can crack out the whips and start, well, I mean, not really, but you get the point. Uh, so there is going to be a punishment that occurs from this just because uh, Lord Petito is not satisfied that, that this uh, was in the spirit of the rules. He, he's satisfied that it, it did break the rules. Uh, and as a result, the, the following punishment has been issued. Let, let, me, let me pull it up here uh, just so that uh, that we can take a look. Okay, so 
he said that B will not be allowed to play in the upcoming week. So this this game is from week two, so he won't be able to play in week three. So there will be a stand-in uh, who will be playing on his behalf. That will be Narn Racing Cat. For anybody who, who hasn't uh, heard of Narn Racing Cat, he's very good. Uh, I think Conqueror 3 uh, only just missed out. He, he was uh, quite literally the, the second next person on the list uh, for people to, to come in. Um, so B will be allowed to continue playing after that. So the fourth weekend, uh, the fifth weekend, if he does make it to that, uh, if, if he does qualify for it. So with that being said, 25% of any of the money that B wins, any prize money, uh, will go to Narn Racing Cat because he is um, coming forward to step in for a week. Any points that get scored by Narn Racing Cat will carry over for B as well. Uh, but essentially what is happening here is uh, we're issuing a punishment uh, on, on B because he has bre he's breached the rules. I I'm satisfied that he has. Lord Petito is satisfied that he has. Uh, and that's essentially it. So this is in, in essence a public statement, but it's also a question out to you guys. Obviously, uh, at the end of the day, we put on the Outback Octagon for entertainment. And this is obviously a form of entertainment. Drama. Drama always comes in uh, as entertainment. So I'm curious what you guys uh, think about it. At this point, it's not going to change because at the end of the day, I, I don't make the decision. It's Lord Petito that makes the decision. So even if there's a thousand comments saying, oh, it's terrible. You know, B's been hard done by. Clearly, he was trying to get the king out to his transport ship that was clearly in... In no man's land. Um, so the, the, I guess I'm, I'm more curious whether you think this is the right call. Was it? Was it too? Sh was it? Uh, was it not far enough? Was it too far? Let me know down in the in the comments. But other than that, that's pretty much it. Just a nice little quick um, drama update for you. Obviously, if there's anything further through the tournament, we will aim to be as transparent as possible and fill you guys in. Because I tell you what, I've been on the other side of that fence, and it is not a fun fence to be on that side of. Anyway, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. And uh, I think I forgot something at the start of this video. G'day, fellas.